Hey, what's up guys? My name is Prezyk, and today I will be doing a tutorial on ascending in Kerbal Space Program using the mod MechJeb or Mechanical Jebediah. As you can see, I'm on the launch pad. I have the Kerbal 10 rocket, which comes stock in the game, so everybody should have this. I'm just using it as a tutorial purpose. You can do this with any rocket that is good to go to space. So what you want to do is after you've installed the MechJeb mod you can go up to your just click ascent guidance set your orbital altitude I suggest making it at least 75 kilometers I believe somewhere around 68 kilometers you'll fall back to Kerbin uh, so anything above probably 75 is pretty good you'll you'll keep your your orbit Versus uh, MechJib Ascent Guidance versus their traditional Ascent, it's essentially, it does all the same things, gets up to whatever your orbit is, however it does it all for you. You don't have to mess with a single thing. All you have to do is engage the engines and you're good to go. These other settings like limit, terminal velocity, force roll, some of those are a little bit uh, more beneficiary if you're going straight to docking like with a space station and there's plenty of information out on the web on how to use each one of these settings but for the purposes of this tutorial I'm just going to use the orbital altitude setting and so you can engage the autopilot it's as simple as that it'll automatically throttle up the engines then you just have to push space bar and go and all you have to do is make sure that you disengage each engine right when the fuel runs out. Now this rocket is meant to go to the moon so you could probably leave all the solid rocket boosters on there and it would still go to orbit. Another thing I should mention is if you use MechJeb for other purposes, you'll know which settings are on just based upon the settings being green. Now you notice that it turns in more of a tangential uh, path, and that is because that is because it is trying to get into an orbit versus just going a, a straight linear path. So if we come around be able to see now it's starting to grow that linear path well, it looks like the Kerbals are pretty uh... well now they're getting happier they're a little little scared One thing I should also mention that is kind of not necessarily related to ascent guidance, but until you're out of the atmosphere, you actually cannot switch to any of the other. Like I, I couldn't go and switch to this guy if I wanted to, uh, just because I'm not out of the atmosphere. Because a lot of times, you know, it would be very useful to be able to while that's ascending, since you're using an autopilot, to just go to a space station and look at you know get everything do your research whatever you might do might be doing so here our engines will disengage and we will float up probably about that 200 kilometer range so I've staged and now we're in the last stage of the craft and we are doing about a 300 meter per second burn and that should get us to that 200 kilometer orbit and then we'll probably do a reverse burn to maintain that orbit so here we're doing our burn you can see we're growing that orbit out looks pretty good should 
killed. There, the engine's killed. And that looks, that's about 50 kilometers there. This space station's orbiting at 250 kilometers. In a video coming up, I will be showing how to rendezvous as well. Uh, I'll probably uh, just continue this mission for that video, but for this, the purposes of this video, we're just going to do ascent guidance. So as you can see, we're at 200,000 meters, 200 kilometers, and it's as simple as that. Thanks for watching. Oh, my God.